Hello everyone and welcome you all to our today's new tutorial which will be about the conditional system of the Cost Calculator Builder plugin. Together with you, we will try to upgrade this amazing membership link calculator using the power of conditions. But before that, let's see what this amazing membership link calculator contains. Let's say our company offers three types of membership plans, light, pro and VIP versions. In the light version, there is only massage service included and if the massage or vaccine services are enabled this special field which is called area will be appeared and you need to select which sort of area that you want to get a service like body face hair or hand or foot in the pro version two services are enabled massage and waxing and in the VIP version, all of the services are enabled. But if you want to customize the services according to your needs, you are welcome to use custom option and select services that you want. If you pay attention, if I enable nail care and skin care, there is no area. But if I enable waxing, there is an area and I can select which sort of waxing service I need. Or the same thing can be said to massage, like this. And uh, there is also an availability to add some additional services. If I enable this toggle here, you can see there is another checkboxes appeared here. So if you are ready, let's get started. Now I'm inside of the calculator. To indicate a membership plans, I have used a drop down fields and I've added four options to it. And I have used a checkbox fields to indicate the services. And the style was default and box style was horizontal and when it comes to area if you remember this part will be visible only if user selects this massage and waxing options in order to make this area hidden until it meets some proper condition in the settings i have enabled hidden by default option it is super useful feature if you want to hide some element until it meets some proper condition so we will make it visible again using conditions i have used it box with icon and horizontal styles to make it pretty beautiful i have used toggle buttons to indicate if there are additional services or no in order to make these more services hidden, I have also enabled hidden by default option in the settings of this particular checkbox field. And the style was box with checkbox and vertical. So let's implement conditions in that case. According to our logic, membership plans should be connected with services. Right now I'm gonna draw an arrow. And to add a condition, I need to press this pencil button and add condition. So condition should be if this parallel option is selected, action should be select option and disable, and the option will be just massage because only massage service is included for our light member. So let me see how it will look. Here you can see if I choose the light, my system automatically put a tick to massage and other services right now disabled. I cannot change them. But if I select just select option as an action and massage here in a preview, even if I select pure light option, I can remove this tick and put a tick to others. So it's not logical. That's why I have used it select option and disable for this particular condition. So let me add another condition. If Perl Pro is selected, the action should be select option and disable and option is waxing and massage. And the next one, if Perl VIP selected, action will be select option and disable and option will be all of them because it is VIP plan and the last one if custom is selected action should be just unset it will remove all of this data that has been entered before what does it mean if for example user selects these two options uh, let's say and this option and if he or she will press this custom all of these ticks will be removed like this but what if i delete the last condition i'm gonna delete the last one and let's see how it looks let's say user first choose 
Perl VIP version and after it user press this custom. Here you can see right now there are ticks remaining in these checkboxes. So it is useful to remove these ticks. I'm gonna in that case bring it back where it's unset here it is I'm gonna save it so the next thing that I want to do is to make this area visible if user choose this boxing or massage options in that case I'm gonna add this area I will add connection between these services and this area like this let me add a condition if massage is selected action should be show we will show this area or i'm gonna use the conditional bounds if boxing is selected action should be show so let's see whether it works or not if i select massage here you can see area appears and i'm gonna remove a tick and put a tick to vaccine here you can see it is shown like this so the next thing is i want to make these more services visible if this additional services is on so i'm gonna put toggle field in that case let me move the grid a little bit and uh, i'm gonna add more services and make a connection between them like this i will add a condition if additional services is selected action should be show let me save and see the result great it works it is very simple and easy to use conditional system of the cost calculator builder plugin even if you work with more complex conditions it is very useful to use this great system and our conditions it was the end of our today's tutorial if you have any questions you are welcome to write them in comments below if you liked the video please don't forget to give a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel thank you for your support